welcome to infinity learn neat by sri chaitanya and today we will be understanding one more topic with the crazy animation as you saw in the last video just like menstrual cycle yes today we will be understanding about the complete process of fertilization and prenatal development or you can also call it as development of the zygote with the help of amazing animation so that you will be able to understand it completely so let's get started all right so in this particular diagrammatic representation you can clearly see that millions of sperms they enter the female tract and then one of the sperm the fastest one it actually tries to enter the ovum by breaking the outermost layer which is the corona radiata and then the zona pellucida and as soon as the sperm enters the cell polyspermy is blocked which means that the other millions of the sperm cells they cannot enter the ovum now so as you saw that fertilization has now taken place now we'll talk about what happens after the fertilization yes so after the fertilization that means after the fusion of male gamete sperm and the female gamete ovum the formation of zygote will take place so let's understand that how exactly the cell division and development of an embryo takes place after the fertilization now in this particular screen you can clearly see that how after the fusion of sperm and ovum over here zygote formation is taking place by various cell division so here you can see once the cluster of cell is made it's become morula and then the later on stage comes that is blastocyst blastocyst is that structure which takes place in implantation implantation over here is the connection of blastocyst into the uterine wall and over here you can clearly see there is chorionic villi ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm as the three different layers notochord which later on will be converted to the vertebral column as a characteristic feature of chordate and then this is how the amniotic sac and yolk sac also takes place and slowly the development of the embryo is happening where development of organs like heart is taking place umbilical cord is connected through the mother's body and slowly branchial arcs and limb bird eye all different organs will be developed during the gestation period and that is how ultimately the prenatal development takes place or you can also say that development of an embryo takes place inside the mother's womb so i'm pretty sure that you understood the embryonic development or the prenatal development pretty well through that animation now let's link that animation with the diagram which is given in your ncrt and clarify all the doubts okay so here you can clearly see that what exactly happens is here you have your secondary oocyte which is released after ovulation from the ovary right and then when the sperm enters the sperm fuses with this secondary oocyte in order to form your first diploid cell because sperm and the secondary oocyte both are haploid cells and when they fuse together they actually form the diploid cell and once the diploid cell is being formed then what happens yes the mitotic division starts as the zygote moves through the isthmus of the oviduct because as you already know that the fertilization it takes place in the ampullary region of the oviduct or the fallopian tube and once the fertilization is done over there then the zygote is going to move to the isthmus and from the isthmus the cell division will keep on continuing and as soon as the cell division keeps on continuing and the structure which is known as blastocyst that is formed that's when the blastocyst will attach to the wall of the uterus and that's what we call implantation right so yes it will be known as cleavage when the mitotic division will keep on continuing and the cell division will keep on continuing towards the uterus and it forms 2 4 8 16 20 daughter cells called the blastomeres and when these blastomeres are formed and when a cluster of cell is formed out of these blastomeres that cluster of cells is known as morula as you clearly saw in the animation after morula when the cell division again continues a structure is being formed known as blastocyst and as i told you blastocyst is the structure that attaches with the wall of the uterus hence implantation here uh, takes place right so here you can see this structure over here is your morula 
and over here the attachment that is taking place the attachment is taking place through the blastocyst structure over here right also one more thing that you have to remember is no change in shape and size will come in the developing embryo till the end stage of gastrula stage comes okay so once the gastrula stage is there no uh, no change in the shape and size will come in the developing embryo so that is how the embryonic development takes place now that you have understood it so well i am pretty sure that you will be able to answer this particular question to me okay the question is in human female the blastocyst you have four different options given over here and i am pretty sure that you will be able to answer this question to me and i will be waiting for your answers for this so I am pretty sure that after such amazing animation and the explanation you will be understanding each and everything about the embryonic development and if you already understood the topic so well then I am pretty sure that you will be able to give me the answer of the question that I asked in the comment section right I will be waiting for your answers also if you found this video helpful do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel along with pressing the bell icon so that you do not miss any kind of notifications that's coming up in this particular channel so i'm going to see you later and do not forget to answer below